In this video, we are going to discuss about interfacing NeoPixel Jewel on Arduino. You to click on Circuits and select Create New Circuit option. And this is the simulation software called Tinkercad. In this, we have workspace and components list. As you can see, a blank workspace is open and in the components list, we need to search for Arduino and drag it onto the workspace. Same way, we need to search for NeoPixel Jewel as well. And this is the NeoPixel Jewel. And it is dragged onto the workspace. To get to know more about NeoPixel Jewel, this is some of the information. There are tiny LEDs mounted on a round PCB. And it has a chainable design. It is designed in such a way that only one pin is used to control as many LEDs as we can and we can also chain those together. Chaining the LEDs together means one's output would be the input of another LED. And no resistors are required and voltage variation doesn't affect the consistency of the color of these LEDs. So this is the working of NeoPixel Jewel. And let's get into the circuit connections. Coming to the connections of NeoPixel Jewel, uh, the ground pin of Arduino should be uh, given to the ground pin of the Jewel, and the power pin should be connected to 5 voltage pin of Arduino. Uh, it is also better to change the color of the wire to red to indicate that it's the power wire. And now the input pin of the NeoPixel Jewel is given to one of the output pins of Arduino that is pin number 6 and I'm changing the color wire to blue to indicate that it's the input wire. The connections are made. Let's see how the code works. To program our Arduino with the code, we can click on code option, go to text and click on continue. We can replace the default code provided by this simulation software with our own code which is over here. There are some libraries of NeoPixel Jewel included in the code and pin number is defined as 6 because the NeoPixel Jewel is connected to Arduino pin 6. And strip is a variable which is given like this. So there are some parameters. Whereas 7 is number of pixels or LEDs on the NeoPixel Jewel. And pin is pin number 6 to which NeoPixel Jewel is connected. NeoGRB is the bitstream of most of the NeoPixel products. And bitstream is uh, nothing but a sequence of bits. Again, Neo 800 kHz is also the PWM bitstream which most of the NeoPixel products have. Coming to the setup, strip begin, strip show are given over here, which is basically to initialize all the uh, pixels to off. That is, none of the LEDs or pixels are glowing. Coming to the loop, the most important part here, color wipe is a function which is shown over here, and these three numbers are nothing but the pixels sequence so these sequence are nothing but the colors which are mentioned right beside to it so these colors red green blue are included in the bitstream and 50 is the delay so that is 50 milliseconds and theater chase is and the function which is defined like this and rainbow you know from the name itself, seven different colors shows on the NeoPixel Jewel. Similarly, rainbow cycle, a cycle of all the rainbow colors and theater chase rainbow. So these are the functions which will be displayed on our NeoPixel. Color, color swipe, theater chase, rainbow, rainbow cycle and theater chase rainbow. Color, color wipe is defined over here. So I is initially set to zero and we give the number of pixels and gradually from zero the number of pixels start increasing so the i value increases and the colors are displayed 
and wait as mentioned before is 50 milliseconds so after a delay of 50 milliseconds rainbow function starts and similarly rainbow cycle which is nothing but five different cycles of rainbow pattern it would understand better once the simulation started also theater chase is another pattern for the color changing on neo pixel journal it consists of only 3 out of 7 LEDs to glow and theater chase rainbow in which uh, the 3 LEDs shows a rainbow color change. This and all again will be uh, better understood when the simulation is started. Similarly wheel is another function that is sub function used in theater, theater chase rainbow and uh, over there. So it is better if we start simulation now and I'm starting the simulation. So initializing as you can see color change from red, green and blue. Now theater chase with red, green and blue colors and now rainbow started. As you have noticed, I started from zero and gradually it is decreasing and now it's a rainbow cycle. In rainbow cycle, a total of 5 cycles would be there. So this function is going on. And after rainbow cycle, theater chase rainbow will be happen. In theater chase rainbow, only 3 out of 7 pixels will glow. That too, with in rainbow pattern. So after this cycle ends, theater chase rainbow started before in theater chase only red green and blue color are glown whereas here now in theater chase rainbow a rainbow patterns are shown in these three pixels working on the code made us understand neopixel gel much better and all of these functions that is it can be theater chase rainbow or rainbow cycle etc are controlled by only one pin that is pin number six hope you understand neopixel gel and thank you for watching this video